Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our legendary This is Total War Sun Jian campaign. This is episode 17. We pick it up from turn 108 in the winter season of 211. So, as we jump back into the game, we had our first natural death. Uh, Liu Yu has died at age 67. Um, this portrait reverts back to his generic one, even though he had a portrait in the puzzle mod. And we can take a moment of silence for him. Wonderful leader uh, from the north. I'm sure Gong Sun Zai and Yuan Shao destroyed him. We do have his wife, who is now single, but maybe, maybe we'll have her kids and Liu Yu's kids can live on. Let's see if we have any Liu clan members in the future. So we'll keep her for a while. And aside from that, we also got a uh, first legendary armor, Robe of the Mantis. Uh, 12 cunning, able stock for own retinue, minus 15% ability recharge. I thought I wanted to put it on uh, Lu Fan, but um, if we look at Lu Fan's setup, we have the perfect setup. Celestial Fury and Tactician's Design active on him, so we're going to pass. Um, our next generic strategist would be Gan Ning's wife, who we just summoned onto the field. Uh, we're going to equip her while we can here for battle. We have two horses, might as well give her one. Uh, we don't have any that can boost cunning, so we'll just boost a little bit of instinct. And we do have a nice jade statue here. Speaking of that new army that we implemented here. We need to set them up properly as well. Alright, we'll do this. Well, this might be a useful armor for the Ministrators. Because it's minus 6 anyways, but plus 9 resolve, which is great. So plus 6k population, plus 6k population. So never mind. Uh, what about you? Yeah, this might break her. Yeah, we might get a couple more k. One more k per county. So that works out pretty well. Uh, do you need... Oh, builder is pretty good. Because we have another foreman. I don't know if we have another clay ox, though. No, we just have one. Okay, then it's fine. Although you should definitely be using this weapon for extra resolve. Alright, that's fine. Alright, Gunning's armor. Uh, he lost his weapon a while back uh, in an embarrassing accident uh, in Nanhai. We're not going to talk about that anymore. Now we could go this way to fight Yuan Shao, or we could go this way to fight. Hmm. I'm gonna send them out towards Yuan Shao and send them after Ma Chao. Because they need a little bit more time, anyways. Um, one more turn mustering. Yeah, we could wait right here. They will be, oh, I guess they will still be short because they lost mustering. But we'll get there next turn to get Han Zhong. Over here, we're going to stop this girl. Um, I think she will escape, but I feel like we can catch her. Oh, she's not running. Very brave. And good looking. Alright, 69% of capture. I just want to say it's high percentage. I didn't mean... It just turned out it was 69%. Alright, anyways, let's jump in it. Make sure we don't kill her. She doesn't have resiliency, even though she's level 4, which is really weird. Alright, but I gotta watch that. Let's go. Alrighty, uh, we're loaded up in here. They are in an encampment. I don't know if they're gonna come out or not. Um, that area right there looks the best for a big open spot for us to lay out our siege weapons. And if they do come out, we want ample space. So maybe even back a little bit more, because we just need to cover the door, really. Now we don't want to accidentally kill our strategist with the flaming shots either, so we got to watch that. And just hope. 
Uh, might as well get them in this formation. We'll divide them up to counter charge both flanks. Nice off to the side. Gonna guess this side for cavalry. Actually, why don't we... Yeah, actually that's fine. Generals. Almost left them on the other side. Alright, now we can start. Are they moving out or are they staying in? Alright, another case of staying in. Alright, one each. It's good. We just want to light it up and then see if they move out. If not, we'll move everything up slowly. This happened already once, so I want to guarantee that. 31%. Actually, we need, uh, we need another hit. We don't need another hit on this side. You're good. We need another hit on this side. Okay, that's good too. Let's see. We'll give them a chance to burn and uh, see if they march out after that point. It's okay. This is on fire. This panel will light up and then it will light up the one behind. 3, 2, 1. Yep. All right, wait till that tower burns out. Okay. Uh, it looks like they're not coming. Okay. If that's the case, uh, we shift up. And uh, we'll cut this part out. See you guys when we get closer. Alrighty guys, we're back. Uh, Trebuchet is pretty nice and snug up here. Uh, we're gonna pound the cavalry. They do dodge. But we're very close, so maybe they don't have enough time to dodge. Nope, they do have enough time to dodge. So we do need to use that trick again. Where we... Do this. Alright, we hit one, then we switch the other one forward. Let's see if it works. So they see the rocks launched. They start running forward when it hits. And then the forward ones, they didn't even run this time, which is interesting. In theory didn't work. We don't want to hurt the generals. They're standing right here. She has only 10k health, not taking that chance. Alright, if you guys aren't going to dodge, I'm just going to fire. They're not firing. Why? What's going on? We can't hit there? Apparently we can't hit here. But we can hit here. Alright, we're routing them. We're just going to use up all our shots, ignoring this group in the middle. Oh, that's where they put the oil. It's unfortunate for them, aren't they? Do we light that up as well? Good. Matter of fact, let's light this building up too. We can chain the fire away all the way through. Can't hit there? Come on. Why is it so hard? Alright, two shots left. Still hesitant to hit them. Uh, they don't have any more ranged weapons, if I'm correct. Time for you guys to go up. Oh, route, please, route, run. Don't die here. Oh, 
胜利，又进了一步。Hmm, they got shield wall up. It's pretty smart formation. Oh, and then they broke it. Why? You just. 一群仓皇逃窜，一群懦夫。With their whole encampment burning. You see, unbreakable. He's not. Okay, let's shoot at him a couple times. There we go. Let's hope we capture the girl. Alrighty. Did we get her? Did we? Yes. Sun Quan, you lucked out. You lucked out. Dad found your wife. Chen Wu. Okay, we're definitely taking him too. Sui, I come. Sun Quan, it's your lucky day. Not marry, gets along with Huang Gai. Lu Fan doesn't get along with Dad, but it's fine. Decent, decent tree. Not not the best here, but not the worst. Extra cunning doesn't hurt that much. Reckless. Ah, you should have been Sun Ce's wife. We can still change that. We can dump her. No one said we had to marry her. This relationship isn't going super well. We just found a better girlfriend. See, but now the problem is we can't like hand her down to our brother. That's just wrong. Hmm. We can, we can first test to see who she gets along better with. Let let her decide. We'll let we'll let her decide. All right. There's two broken armies trapped here. We're gonna ignore them and take the city. Um. I should fight this and take no loss. Yeah, uh, I'll cut this out. See you guys at the end. Alrighty, clean fight. So now we cut off their retreat path. Uh, we don't need this garbage building. Don't need that. Cut from reduction, please. All right, we have open assignment. We'll figure that out later. So Ma Teng's here, here. Jin Cheng, Han Sui. Okay, we can check. Um, he has. Oh, we haven't seen any new factions. That's good news. Means there's not any new factions around here. We can't see his stats. That's interesting. All right, so they have Ma Teng has two armies trapped in Han Sui's territory. We're here healing up. I kind of want to make it a pair. This army is trying to heal up and go this way. All right. Um, rebellion next turn. We have how many slots open? All five available. Okay, so we're gonna bring out. Someone new. Hmm, she's in limbo right now. Han Dang. All right, sure. So Sun Ce, the problem with Sun Ce is he's in. Oh, there's no problem. Hold on, guys. We're gonna remove him real quick. Time to know who he really likes. He doesn't get along with his wife. Another reason for divorce. 
he gets along with this girl. What do you know? What do you know? I guess they have to break up too because they're going to be in the same army. All right, that's that's divorce right there. That's divorce right there. What about Zhou Yu? Does he get along with our sister? Our youngest sister. Where are you? Okay. See, that works. So we have we can split this army. Uh, we don't have the money to do it. Oh, we have money to do divorce. That much money we do have. Bye. We're going to take all her stuff away and just kick her out of the faction. It's all it's our fault for not testing earlier, but now that we know. Now that we know. I mean, she is not a terrible character. She can she can still stay. I mean, we need rebel farmers. All right. They're ready here. Cheng Wu. No one's here yet. All right, let's move someone here. So Sun Quan. See, this is the ultimate test. If Sun Qian gets along with the ex-sister-in-law. Please don't. Don't make me... Oh, my God. Mm. Mm, this is awkward. Can we pretend the marriage was annulled? It just, it just never happened? Because this would work out perfectly. I mean, technically not perfectly because... We'll wait. We won't, we won't force this nonsense to happen. I'm not allowing it. Okay, we gotta find him some rebel farming friends. All right, we stop worrying about this marriage deal. If we had the money, I would pull Ling Tong out, but we don't. So I guess it just had to be her. Oh, Li Meng, there we go. Okay, so that's taken care of. Right, the robe. Oh, I know, the wife who's about to become princess. Ah, uh, Gan Ning's wife took it. I'm sorry, Gan Ning's wife. This is going to be the future faction leader's wife. Okay, that remove function isn't working for us. Take it off, take it off. What? Well, it, it's locked on her? Don't, don't be like this. Um... What if we do something like this? Give her a, a, alternative choice? Yeah, she doesn't have a base choice, so she can't remove forcefully. Oh, that scared us. Okay, um... Alright, fit for princess. Zhou Yu has the other one. Joshi, <laughs> poor guy. Hey, we're marrying our sister to you. He needs to. Yeah, this army is actually not in action right now. All right, that's an important army. All right, we need to get it out of his hand. All right, the only thing I have an issue with is the merchant in this set. Do we have something better? Yeah, scholar 
would fit the theme more, in a sense. Alright, so we're giving her a scholar to teach her etiquette. She's learning classic Ophelia piety so she can treat our parents right, which is Sun Jian, our leader. Gets of excellent hordes, excellent armor, excellent weapon, and we're going to have her excellent retinue. Great. That marriage will go down once we get our gold. Uh, somehow we are very low income. Why is that? Uh, we have a new retinue. That's right. We have a new army. Um... Well, they're going for a split. Mm. Uh, we'll worry about the income later. We'll be okay. A lot of battles. We can get some money from the battles. Let's check diplomacy. And go next. Alright, Maton has died of old age. And his wife has taken over. Interesting that the wife is heir and not Ma Chao. Oh, Ma Chao's in a different faction. That's right. We got a new armor. Ah, boring. Energetic on Wei Yan. That guy is good. We got to get him out too. We have too many vanguards. It's a very competitive field here. So Ma Chao is gone. We're just going to delegate then. Now it is a large city, so we're probably gonna downgrade it. Get some more income. It's pretty. Oh, the army's still here. Oh, I thought they were gone. Flaming shot. He doesn't have reach, so we're gonna let the wife lead. Oh no, she doesn't have reach either. Well, guess who has reach? There we go. Nah, they're not they're not a threat. Alright, bad building. Bad building. Bad building. Good building. Fix. Fix. Uh we forgot a assignment last turn. My bad. Alright, Yuan? Yuan Shu is packing on the manpower over here. You're gonna have to ambush them here. Right, these two will have to hold for a bit. Now, are they? They're not really threats, even to a city. I feel like we should just keep going forward. Yeah, I think we can keep going forward. Mm, we don't need healing, so we'll first go here to get some vision. Right. Ah, Pang De. Ambush. This way we can eliminate both sides depending on where they go. Alright, lots of actions in the north. Uh, Sima Fang, our uh, assignment character. Smiley's dad. Alright, there's our anti-corruption measure. Look at our income jump. Look at our income jump. And then we can also start getting shaft mining next so that we can get the rank 4 because we unlock rank 5 without unlocking rank 4. And also get the discount on the mine upgrade. So that's definitely next turn. And then it'll get even better. Alright, we did forget assignment last turn, so let's not forget this turn. They're good. Peasantry. Alright, you take over as Liu Yu's job. Um, hmm. This is fine. A little worrisome, but I think we're gonna be okay we're gonna get that marriage through I know we're spending money on useless stuff but it's nice now if you got if you got your ex-wife pregnant in one turn and we see a kid in four turns I'm I'm gonna be very impressed with you since 
because you're marrying her. And we tested that Zhou Yu gets along with her. So this is potentially another marriage with Zhou Yu. We haven't tested Sima Yi and Sun Ren or Guo Jia and Sun Ren yet, but we're about to find out when Lu Zhi dies. She's just waiting for Lu Zhi's death. Ah, poor guy. It's so sad the girl you get along with married your older brother first, didn't get along, got divorced. I don't even think you can marry her now. She's a distant relative, right? Hey, the game doesn't consider that marriage to happen. Should we? <sighs> Let's pretend that marriage never happened. We can find we can find someone better. It still feels weird. All right, Sunsu and Zhou Yu getting married in the same turn makes sense too. We'll just pretend those two are Da Qiao and Xiao Qiao of the game, and we would love to add her into the army, but she might be a little expensive with her retinue. All right, we're taking a turn off. All right, we'll give her a retinue later. They got we got to pick out a third with this party because we need some front line here. We do have a few generals to pick from. All right, we'll worry about that later. Oh yeah, our high level farmers pretty unhappy in our court. Also it doesn't help that he has no rank. Oh, actually we have many ways to make him happy for now. We'll worry about the situation a bit later. Hmm, only 600 gold now. Alright, we gotta watch where our rebels are spawning. Gotta get someone on this. Changsha's fine. Changwu, someone is ready here. Uh, Wuling has a rebel. I mean, Huan Zhi needs to go to level 4 because there's a chance to shine very soon. If he can get that level. There we go. Um, absolutely no money left, but economy is doing well and the battles here are going well. We're now finally taking a step into what will be the Leong province. I guess Wudu is already Liang, so we're technically already in it. We're out of Shu. This is the Yi province, Shu Ba region. Still no enemies coming, still no new factions met. Things are going well. Let's continue. Alrighty, Nai Bestelment. You receive a missive from the Emperor that you have been given the Nai Bestelment. Um, each of these represent the tenants of your greatness and power wagons and horses, clothing, armed guards. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, so basically, this is like a ritual. Um, they give you a gift, Gua uh, Jiu Xi, I think it's what's called in Chinese. And what it does is, it acknowledges your position as duke, um, as one of the lords. It's a very dangerous behavior as well because the next step above this is becoming the emperor. Mo Ye, second time we got Mo Ye, legendary blade on the first weapon given by the new weapon craftsman in Shangyong. Um, great sword uh, for a strategist. Uh, Zhou Yu would benefit greatly from this because he's actually combat capable. Because he has uh, double the health of regular strategists. So even though we stripped you of your silver blade, we give you a gold one. Make up for that. And we also have some movement down here. Liu Bei has an army. I don't know where she's going to go, though. 
This is the first time we had some movement here, so... Huh. I don't want to get rid of these. Who's going to be cheaper to re-summon? That's the question. We could keep Zhou Yu here. He gets along with Tai Shitsu. And Sun Ce can... I feel like someone needs to go here. That's the thing. I don't know where they're going to go. We have a lot of exposed territories, to be honest. They decide to siege backwards. Aren't they cute? Close defeat. Okay. I mean, we can fight on the battlefield and win easily, but... We can also use this army. Show up. And just take take away the siege. <laughs> yeah. And then... Do, they, do we have night battle? No. We can't fight them together. Alright, he just hopped into the tr Silk Trader, so we can just dis demolish that together in one fight. Alright, we ha finally have Silk now. It's gonna change our build a little bit as well. Hmm. Alright, two fight coming up here. It's a little messy, I wanna think about it for a little bit. Oh, our daughter leveled up. Hmm, the fact that she doesn't have good stuff makes me feel a little sad. There we go. Hmm, I feel like we should split the army now. I need to start scouting for what the third general needs to be. Yeah, Huan Zhi would be perfect. You just need one more level, but even now I think we can use him. Gao Sheng. Gao Sheng. He's a spy who got turned, so he's safe. Ling Tong. Ling Tong will make sense historically as one of the Wu officers who's also young. Yeah, let's grab him. Get rid of the retinue. Okay. Mm, he needs time. Uh, hang on, hang on. Alright, we can wait. Alright, let's summon one guy. He needs a level. You get along with Chen Po. He can be your front line. And then the cavalry can be your wife. Once she comes out of her assignment. Looking for rebel situations. Rebellion active. Alright. Who leveled up? Sun Quan. Good job. I recall them. That's just a lot of local force and no food because we were just sieged. Yeah, we're just going to go wipe them out. Let's fight them. Alrighty, uh, jumping to this battle shouldn't be too hard. Our generals are not very healthy, um, but their, their generals are not very healthy either. We just want maximum distance on these uh, siege weapons. 
Not gonna micro them too much because we have someone else better to micro. Not much of a front line. Actually, really not much of a front line. And not much of a cavalry here either. They can stay behind. We're gonna try to utilize this. And this. Actually, just guard our side. Start. They definitely are going closer to their reinforcement first. We just gotta be careful with how we approach this. Uh, feels like they're gonna be... Hold on. Okay. Uh, they're coming. I don't think we need to shift. We need to watch out for so many cavalries, though. Keep our distance. Use our abilities. Hit them. Wait, what happened? Oh no, is it broken? Oh, don't tell me you can't use it with a spear. That might be the true. Alright, run. That blows. Alright, we'll give him back his uh, old weapon of uh, twinsy. Got spikes on this side. Yeah, cavalry is tough to kill. Our triple shade level is also quite low. He does have resiliency. We, we really can't use this anymore because our weapon's different. Anytime. Intercept that. Run back, run. Intercept that, intercept that. Uh, I'm gonna pull another one back. Yeah, it feels like we really can't use it anymore. Yeah, that's terrible. Alright, go back. Stay on them. Where did our cavalry units go? We need them back. Who's routing? Oh, Tribuche is routing. Okay, that's fine. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Stay on them. Charge out. Where are, where are they going? Uh, can we reclaim that? Alright, we won. Wasn't clean, but we did it. 
All right, not heavy hail of arrows, not not great. Um, release. Mm, replenishment. I feel like I, we need to get this unit killed because it actually replenishes faster by killing them because they're uh, they free muster. Uh, they just show up. Uh, we need to get yours into one of these two hand one handed weapons. I think. It's pretty much what's clogging it, I believe. Alright, let's chase after well, they can sit here. Chase after them. Alright, we're just gonna delegate this. Alright. Now they can rest up next to them. Over here, we're going to end our episode with this big fight here. <laughs> they think we'll lose this as well. Well, if it's going to be an encampment fight, night battle, and they're not going to come out, we'll floor them. Let's go. Alrighty, uh, we're loaded up in here. So far, experience with these fights is that they stay inside, but that could change at any moment, so we're not gonna risk it. We are gonna stand a little bit behind. Just a little bit, because so far, it has been the fact that no one has walked out of those encampments. Even though this one's a little different, because this one's a county. Not technically an encampment, just looks like an encampment. This is what silk and spice traders look like. Uh, terrain's a little funky with the cliff, but let's see. Coming out or not? Coming out or not? I don't know. Oh, they don't even... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Definitely not coming out. But what I want to know is I need some vision on them. Gonna go to this cliff right here. Seem how they all piled over there. Ah, see, now we see them. Alright, uh, we'll get into position pretty quickly. It won't take too long. And I think since they're not rushing out. We'll definitely pound down these two towers first. The fire will spread a little bit. And we'll just hit wherever it's densest. Focusing on range units first. So that our range units can maximize their damage. Yeah, these, these won't hurt us. We're infantry anyways. Alright. There we go. Right, let's start with a hit here. Yeah, yeah the fire is not going to pick up because it's rainy. But the raw damage will. It is burning though. Okay. Now they're trying to fit way too many units in one small county. So we can definitely pound them down here. Look at them, waiting for to be hit. Yeah. Pong Pongdala had already dropped like two-thirds of his health from getting hit by projectiles. We technically also have a burn officer sitting on our bench that we could pull out to buff, but it's only one. That's why I haven't really took her out yet. And there's also uh, Xun Yu, who's been sitting on our bench for a while. I think the only thing that's been difficult with this campaign so far is dealing with the money situation. But usually you have so many trade deals, so many 
you know, non-aggression packs that you can sell, which is not available to us here. Yeah, keep putting units here, please. We can kill Pang Te and hand the units together. They're running out of ammo. Alright, time to shift everyone up. We're gonna go this way. To absorb enemy um, archer damage first. And then we'll shift our archers up afterward. I doubt they want to duel at this point. Given that their health is not very healthy. Alright, we'll get everyone to start shooting at us. We'll take the damage. I don't think we can just charge in it. Just not not feasible with how many units they have inside for, with our generals and cavalry. Now right, we're gonna be picky about who we shoot. Alright, they all died. No rush. They might come back. This group right here. These are hard to kill, but we still gotta kill them. We can completely ignore the archers. Alright, we don't want to go too close. Alright, we're going to grind them down. Alright, they are coming back, but it's fine. Gonna move them even closer. Is there any more spear units inside? Right, there might not be any spear units left. Maybe it's time for cavalry to. Yeah, maybe. Oh, there's a couple here. Guess we'll finish these off. Um, yeah, we'll just weaken these. Alright. Boys, time to go. Clear a path. We're going in. Alright, we gotta get through all these archers real quick. Alright. Win? Yep. Not so hard. Clean rush through. Took a lot of damage, but it's fine. Alrighty, we're pretty much absorbing uh, Ma Teng's faction left and right. Let's see if we can get Pang De as well. Ah, we got her, 50 year old. Uh, we don't need her. Yeah, no unique units either. Just release. Occupy. Alright, now we have both Silk and Spice, so if we can hit King, which we will soon, we'll get ourselves an Imperial Court. Liu Fan can be one of our leaders with 100% Silk and Spice bonus, so that would be really, really great. Looks like Ma Teng actually has a bunch of territories in the north. This is his capital, uh, but it looks like he owns some of these as well, and I don't think there's going to be any other factions here. Maybe Han Sui has a few more territories. We're just going to move out west with this one army. These two has stalled, as we have to deal with at least two armies here, so they have to kind of define uh, defend both chokes. Uh, we're gonna wait till they heal up, defend both, and then join up to wipe them out here. 
And at that point, uh, we capture the city. The city can defend itself. And then we can station an army like in between here, between the lumberyard and the city, and just defend this road right here. And it will be pretty good. Um, we have made a massive push into the northeast. Um, and we're holding pretty well here. Liu Bei, although they did summon the army, I don't know where they're going to go. So we're not going to worry too much about it. And this is the turn of, you know, many marriages. So hope you guys enjoyed the episode and see you all next time. Bye.